Hello everyone and good morning. I'm out again today and I'm headed to a spot where I actually was this past weekend and while we were out there there was a whole bunch of bird activity and there was also some deer activity as well. So my plan today is to head over to that spot, sit and see what comes about. But as I was walking towards the location, I'm walking across a field and there's some tree swallows singing and they're flying around looking for insects and there's also field sparrows singing as well, which is the first time I've heard them this year, which is really nice. And there's also a pair of crows that were flying around and they were actually gathering nesting materials in the field. So it's a good sign, good start to the day and I'm excited to get to my spot and see what comes about. Almost to my spot, but I'm going through a, a forest that's kind of a mix of pitch pine and white pine, and I hear a pine warbler. First warbler that I've heard this year. It's up in the pines above me. Let's see if you can hear it. That's it. Spring is here. Problem is they're really hard to photograph because they hang out high up in the pines. But I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and see if maybe I can locate it and see if maybe it'll come down. Awesome. The pine warbler continued to sing above me. So I decided to move on deeper into the forest. I've got to the spot where I'm gonna set up. So I chose this spot because there's actually three habitats that are very close together. I have a stream behind me, which leads right into the reservoir, which isn't too far away. Then I have this kind of shrubby section that I'm in here. And then just beyond that is a field. So there's three different habitat types right in very close proximity. So I think that's what's allowing for so many different species of birds to be present. I hear a lot of them calling. So now I just need to sit, wait, and see if anything comes closer to me.
spent a few minutes in my spot and was able to photograph and video a pair of eastern phoebes that were foraging along the stream and in the shrub layer. I decided to move on and head back to the field behind me where I heard field sparrows and song sparrows calling. I spent a few minutes in the field, sitting quietly, trying to photograph the field sparrows. There were three of them around me, but they ended up staying low in the brush, and I was only able to get a glimpse of one of them as it was foraging on the trail. I decided to move on and see what else I could find. I was walking down the trail and I saw a hermit thrush along the side of the trail. So I was able to kind of creep around and get in front of it. And now it is foraging along the ground in front of me. And I'm hoping it's gonna swing back around this way and come a little bit closer to me. It's about 25 yards away from me now, but it's foraging among all the logs and sticks that are on the ground in front of me. So just need to wait and hope it comes this way. I'm gonna start making my way out. Uh, the last thing I saw was the hermit thrush about an hour and a half ago, so the wind's really picking up and not that much activity is out. There's some Phoebes that are foraging around, but I already spent a few, uh, few minutes with them this morning, so I'm going to start making my way out and see if I find anything else on the way out. There's a pair of hermit thrushes right up here. Let's see if I can get them. They're closer than the last ones, so.
So I've been sitting here for a while now and the hermit thrush finally came a little bit closer to me. I was able to get some good pictures and videos of it as it kind of was perched on some sticks and some logs. It's flown a little bit ways farther back into the forest now. So I'm going to leave it be and I'm going to head out and move on. Just found some golden crown kinglets that were foraging in a, uh, a hemlock along the trail. I heard them and they sounded really close. Usually they're higher up in the trees and this one was close down to the ground so I stopped and I was actually able to get maybe maybe a decent picture of them. They are so small and so fast they don't stay in one spot very long. So I don't know we'll see we'll see if I get a picture when I get back to the house but that's why you always have to be on the lookout even as you're on your way out.